Hello, lovely viewers. You're watching Bipolar Opposites. I'm your guy, Tim Cubbin. Today I be talking to you about mythology. Now, I know what you think when you hear mythology. You think of the Greek mythology. You think Zeus and Hera and Ares and Aphrodite and even the non god Hercules. Well, actually, in Greek mythology, it's Heracles. It's Hercules and Roman, but let's not go there. But there's just so much you can think of. Even the, the Egyptian gods, Anubis, Ra, all of them. You can think of anything with mythology. Anything. And yet, do these all count as religion? Hmm. Tough to say. I mean, if you believe it, it's religion. So people believe it. It's that mass that people believe in. And it's not a cult, so it's a thing. So it is. Also, another thing, I took a mythology class in college, and we actually talked about some things which all of the mythologies have in common. Now, when you think of religion, you think God, Jesus. And really, you think about it, there is a few things that every mythology and religion has in common. Three things. The first is the creation. So... You believe in the creation of God, by God, or by scientists, think of it as a Big Bang, or, you know, all those things are the one Greek goddess who gives birth to the moon and the sun every morning and night. It just, it's, it's, cre it's cool stuff like that, but they all have a different version of the creation. So, you gotta think of it that way. There's all the creation, so you can just think of anything, really anything. Also, another one that almost all religions has is oddly, is oddly enough one you wouldn't really think would count as a, as a key to most mythologies, and that is the Flood. Now, we all know from the, Christian, the Catholic Bible that God wanted to get rid of the sinners and send two by two on the ark to save the lives of good people and, get, and smite the bad people. And that, that's well known, but... It's been a long time since I took that class, so. But from what I understand, in our textbook, they have the whole section about the flood. Finally, the one that every religion has, and every mythology has, is the apocalypse, the end of all life on Earth, possibly a certain planet. Well, in Christianity, we have the Book of Revelations. I don't know any other topics, but is something that all religions, all things have, is the apocalypse. So there. Now, to finish up, I want to talk about spirituality a little. See, when I was in the hospital a few years back, we talked about mythology, about spirituality. And spirituality is not just God or whatever. Don't what you believe, it's what you believe in. So it motivates you like a person. A person that makes you you. And that is your spirituality. No, they're not gods. But if you believe in someone, if you trust them, if you really love them, then that can be considered spirituality. I know, hard to think, but... That's why I got out of that group in, school, in uh, the hospital, but I could be wrong, I really could, but that's my belief. Okay, well, at risk of screwing up any further, I'm going to sign off for today. Be back next time for more Bipolar Opposites. I'm Tim Cubbin, out.